Hello everybody and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. In the last episode we did It's Raining Seeds and Begooled, which was actually a, a Bejeweled minigame that was very very fun. I hope that today's minigames are going to be just as much fun. But first let's see if the Zen Garden has anything to offer. It does not, but we do have quite a lot of chocolate at this point. Which is probably going to get even more because I feel like the minigames reward a lot of chocolate in comparison to other things. Uh, because we hadn't gotten any chocolate before and now we got like three chocolate last episode. I don't know what this minigame is going to be, but we only have two huge waves of zombies, so it's probably not going to be too long. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I mean, I'm assuming it's got something to do with zombies being invisible, but that would be just, that would just be unfair, right? I'm just gonna start placing things. Oh my god, they actually are invisible. They probably become visible when you use these, right? Yeah, they do. Um, okay, no, that is actually horrible. That That is actually horrible. I I like the ID. I, I, I don't like the fact that they're actually invisible, though. That's, uh, that's not good at all. <laughs> that's really bad for me. I, I need to keep using these just to know. Okay, so there's one coming down here. And the other one is going to get squashed. So that's... That's alright. They do seem to be very, very slow, though. Oh, because I froze them. Because I froze them. That actually makes a lot of sense. So... You just want to place... A pea shooter everywhere, just so that you know when there are zombies in a lane, so that you can place more in that specific lane. That's what I'm getting at here. So now we have a pea shooter everywhere, and that pretty much just means that the invisibility doesn't really matter anymore. I want to say, yeah, I can just place another one here because I know there's another there's a zombie in this lane, and then. I don't know, I can place a kernel port here because I know there's a zombie in this lane as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of an oversight in the design here, which is... Uh, or maybe it's not an oversight, maybe it's... I'm not getting any more of those frozen things. I don't think it's an oversight, I think it's meant to be that way. Um, but yeah, you can definitely just tell where zombies are because... Your plants shoot when there's a zombie in the way. <laughs> uh, which, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think about this minigame yet. Uh, so far, it seems neat. It doesn't seem very... What's the word? Good. <laughs> so far, though. It seems to be just... Yeah, it actually seems to be rather boring. Part of the whole, um, like drama of this game has so much to do with the fact that you're like oh my god the zombies coming and oh my god they're so close and they're going to absolutely annihilate me and that, that doesn't happen here because you just can't see it at some point you'll just lose a plant and now that you're fox and it's really weird to see these squashes um activate when there's nothing really around um i don't know what the huge wave of zombies is going to be like I'm assuming it's going to be very, very anticlimactic. Also, I didn't have um, any, like, breakfast or lunch between episodes, like I said I was going to. So... I mean... You notice when there's a zombie eating away at a plant, so you, you know there's a zombie that's made it. I, I don't see... I don't see why this is fun, to be honest. This just seems like, oh no, we need 20 mini games and we've had like all our fun IDs. But we probably should make like 20 because somebody at corporate told us to. So let's just, I don't know, make them invisible for one mini game. And that's just, we need to tell this shit at, somehow. And we, we need, we need extra content and mini games. And we're going to need 20 of them. So, some of them aren't going to be as good as others, and that's a little bit of a shame. Because this is definitely not very good. <laughs> I've made up my mind. I don't like this. I, I really... I don't want to say I despise it. I don't hate it. I just very much dislike it. Yeah, there's, there's no reason 
for this to be a thing is the issue. Okay, so the moment I see something enter the water, I'm going to freeze your ass. Do things in the water not freeze? Things in the water might not freeze. Which is potentially an issue. Okay, so... Granted, I am getting a little bit confused here, which is, I think, the point, maybe, of this minigame. So, it's doing something somewhat right. But... I think I'm more annoyed than I am confused, which... I don't think you should ever wonder as a game designer, things being a... Uh... Okay, that just looks weird. Oh, that's uh that's a problem. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that, but that is a problem. Um, you didn't really give me anything. Oh, the squash deals with that. Okay, no, no worries. We're fine. There's probably only gonna be one of those, I hope. And if not, I hope that it's going to be up here next, because I've got a squash here, and otherwise I'm just fucked. Or I can bother them. If I can bother them, that'll be fine as well. Wait a second, does bother not stick on things with hats? Is that a thing? Has that been a thing all along? Because I saw you throw a butter, and... Yeah, it didn't stick. So, is this a special kind of... Oh, that's why it didn't stick. Because... Yeah. That, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Because it was on one of those machines. You can't apparently butter the... Uh, I forgot the name of it again. I'm, I'm very sorry. I forgot what they're called again. Uh, I keep forgetting and uh, it's because, frankly, I don't really care. Oh, you can't place plants on ice. That... You know what? That makes total sense. That... that that makes more sense than, than I'd like to admit. So we're about to head into the last huge wave of zombies here. Which is good because uh, I'm kind of starting to lose my patience with this minigame. I want to move on to the next minigame. What was the next minigame called? I, I can't recall. I think it was something... Oh, it was something with stars. So we're going to use the star fruit a lot. I like the star fruit. I like the Starfruit. I also like the Starfruit in Stardew Valley, by the way, because it makes you a shit ton of money. And then when you turn it into either jelly or wine, it's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's uh, definitely the best fruit. Uh, other than the uh, the ancient fruit, which is better. Um, and the ancient fruit you can do year-round. So... Why am I talking about Stardew Valley? It's a good game. I, I really do want to, like, stream it sometime, but I, I want to stream a lot of things. And usually when I'm like, should I stream? The answer I come up with usually ends up being no. I don't know why. Uh, it's because I feel like when I start a stream, I commit myself to streaming that game again and the thing i want to do with streams and maybe i should just like communicate that more clearly and it'll be fine the thing i want to do with streams is like i want to have it be a like thing i just do when i feel like it i, I don't want to have like a once a week kind of live stream i just again i, I want to live stream when i feel like it and not when i have to um the thing with the thing with pre-recorded content with these videos um is, of course, I can record them whenever. Live streaming, if I have a schedule, I need to be live when my schedule says I'm live, and I don't always feel like it. And with a video, I can just record it, like, tomorrow, because I've got a week or two weeks worth of buffer. But live streams uh, isn't really an option. So let's go into seeing stars. And this... Um... I don't know what you want me to do here, so I'm just gonna bring like a lot of things. <laughs> Blood rock, I don't know. I think I'm only going to be using stars, right? Fill out. Oh, I I need to fill everything, all the outline things with star fruits. That is an interesting way of doing things. That is very interesting. I 
I think I like it. I think. The thing is, am I going to be able to kill anything with this star fruit? I don't think I will be able to. Okay, so uh, I probably should like think up a strategy here very quickly. Uh, and the strategy is plant the pea shooter as well. Okay, so what am I going to like need to do here? I'm going to need to place pea shooters like at least one a lane. I don't remember what other kind of zombies were in here. Um, but that's going to be expensive because that's like 250, 250 there, that's 500. That is 250, 250, that's 1000. It's 250, that's 1500 sun I need in total. That's a really good thing I got the twin sunflower is what I'm saying. <laughs> because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need a lot of sun here. Uh, especially since maybe if I just place down more of these star fruits, I wouldn't need the pea shooters necessarily. And that could save me like... At the end of the day, that only saves me like 500 sun down, right? And it does give me a certain amount of like security in... Yeah, I didn't think about that now, did I? I'm gonna place one here. Hoping that it's good enough. It's probably not, actually. It's probably gonna be very bad for me. Yeah, the one uh, downside to this is that you... Oh, never mind. I was going to say you can't really hit things um, coming straight for a star fruit. But apparently you can. Or maybe there was a star fruit above it. So if I just have an entire line of star fruit, that should mean that every zombie is always getting hit. And I don't need these pea shooters anymore. And that then allows me to plant a couple more sunflowers, which then allows me to get more sun more quickly. And um, yeah, I definitely do need a pea shooter here. So please give me like... Or a jalapeno. Actually, I would much rather have a jalapeno right now because this thing is probably close to dying, actually. Never mind. Um, don't need a jalapeno. This is, this, this is a little bit weird. But I think I like it. I think. I'm pretty sure I like it. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I, I'm I'm fine with this. Other than the fact that I just got a star fruit eaten again. Okay, so this is actually fairly difficult, <laughs> as it turns out. And this is going to take a while. Um we're technically like at the end time of the episode, and we're not like even close to finishing this mini game. Um, I'm not gonna need you there. Let's place you there. I don't know what to do here, right? Because I feel like at this point, unless there's like bucket hat zombies coming in, probably all zombies will die. I think. So let's just put down another sunflower because I need to be able to replenish them anyway. If they oh, I didn't think about that being a thing. Um, that might be potentially a bit of an issue. Uh, give me one more sun. I, I just need one more sun so that I can place down one more star fruit for this wave because thank you very much. Because there's a lot of zombies coming in my general direction here. Um, let, let's place a sunflower down here. I Five sunflowers should be plenty. Wait a second, there's only five here. And there's five on the roof as well. It's just... Backyard has six? I just... I said something about that while we were on the roof. Like, oh, we only have five. But apparently the, the front lawn only has five as well. So it's only... It's only the one with the pool that has six. I... I never realized that that had more than, than, than the other maps. <laughs> I, I honestly didn't. Uh, this is an entirely new revelation for me and it's uh, it's rather it's rather weird. <laughs> so at this point it's just a matter of waiting to win because 
we have a star fruit in every lane. We have a pea shooter in almost every lane. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for upgrading a sunflower here just because it's gonna pay for itself. Like, very quickly. Okay, so we're starting to get some metalhead zombies. Um, I do want to place a star fruit in the middle here as well then. Just to hit this thing as much as humanly possible. Or zombily possible, is that a thing? It's a thing now. Uh, it's going to be a while before we can actually reach the twin sunflowers. And that is exactly why you want that thing we saw, I think, two or maybe even three episodes ago at this point. Where you uh, can bring one plant, um, a, a duplicator, pretty much. Where it just dittos, it transforms into one of the other plants you brought. So things with a very long recharge time like the twin sunflower you can plan more easily and more quickly that way and that is actually very very useful uh but it was like it was like ten thousand dollars to buy that seed and at some point i'll have that money because i'll just do like one or two endless runs and i'll be rich but for the time being i don't have that kind of money at all um let's place this pike wheat down here just because i do want to damage you as much as i can And all my star fruits aren't really doing it. Okay, so now you're getting damaged like very quickly. Um, one more star fruit. We're we're doing well. We're going. I don't want to place this star fruit, <laughs> to be honest, because these two are going to get eaten like very quickly. Especially this one because um, all of these are not going to hit it because they all shoot on a diagonal and not straight ahead. And this is very close to where the zombies actually spawn. So this one, probably not that big of a deal because it's got a lot of like diagonal reach. But... Mm. That's a lot of zombies! Holy crap! Okay. Um, we should be fine. We should be fine. We're, we're making a lot of sun. We're making a lot of sun. Um, yes, as you can see, there's going to be a slight issue. No, never mind. There's not going to be an issue whatsoever. And we've got chocolates! I like chocolate. I mean, last episode, I showed you, I made brownies. I like chocolate. I only need one more, and waiting for the recharge, and we won. That's going to be it for today. Uh, that was an interesting minigame. That was a very interesting minigame. I really didn't like the invisible one, uh, but I I kind of liked the, the, the star one. And Oh, this is going to be an interesting next episode. First... A zombie aquarium. I have no idea what that's going to be. Is it going to be like a full six lane of just a pool? That sounds interesting if that's the case. We'll find out next episode. Until then, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have indeed enjoyed the video, which hopefully you have. Uh, also, there's a Discord link. You, you guys know. There's, there's like giveaways and we hang out and keep up to date with like live streams I talked about when I do them. I post them there and all that kind of good stuff. This episode is long enough as it is. Bye.